Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video, we're going to take a look at another five essential apps for your Mac. Our first application is called Agenda and is a newer take on note taking apps. The app is free, but to gain access to all of its features, there is a premium version. Agenda categorizes notes by what's currently on your agenda, what you have for the current day, or you can customize your notes by various projects. For the sake of this video, I have two projects created. One is dedicated to the scripts that I write for my videos, and the other is broken up into daily tasks. On the right hand side is where you can link your calendar and view your calendar items and notes in Agenda at the same time. The purpose for Agenda is for those who take a ton of notes with timing in mind. So for me, when I write scripts, I generally have an idea of when the script will be completed and used for a video, and I can adjust the script's date accordingly so that it will only appear on that scheduled day, keeping everything else organized and tidy. Premium features include the ability to create calendar events right from the app, exporting your notes as a markdown file, and hiding the watermark when exporting as a PDF, along with some other useful features. The app is really well designed and I like how clean and organized it makes all of your notes. Next up is one of my personal favorites, and that's an app called Cheat Sheet. Cheat Sheet is more of a utility that helps bring up all of the compatible keyboard shortcuts that are available for the app that you're currently using. After you install Cheat Sheet, all you have to do is hold down the command key and you'll see a list of keyboard shortcuts for that current app that's selected. So if you forget how to create a new tab in Safari or you wanna enter full screen mode quickly, you can find those shortcuts within Cheat Sheet. The best part about Cheat Sheet is that you can also interact with the list. So for example, if you wanna close the current tab but don't feel like typing out the keyboard shortcut, just tap on that command that you see in Cheat Sheet and the action will be carried out automatically. I believe the main point of this app is for you to learn these keyboard commands a bit faster or if you forget a keyboard command, but it is a nice bonus feature to be able to interact with the list directly. SIP is another useful utility, especially for graphic designers who need to know various hex codes for certain colors. So let's say you find a really cool looking color scheme on a website and you wanna know exactly what colors they are using so that maybe you can incorporate those colors into your project. All you need to do is click on the SIP icon in your menu bar and select the color picker icon. And as you scroll around your computer, you will see in real time that the app is giving you hex codes and color names for all of the colors that your cursor lands on. Once you you click on a spot on the screen, the color automatically gets saved to your history. You can then copy those hex codes into Photoshop to incorporate the perfect color into your work. Our next app is for those inbox by Gmail users. Boxy2 is an email client built to be just like the inbox by Gmail web app. The look and feel of the app is as if Google built it themselves, with support for multiple Gmail accounts, message templates that you can save and reuse to save loads of time when sending similar emails, a beautiful reading mode which eliminates any distractions that the rest of the app might display when you're reading an email, a fantastic search engine to find just about any email that you've ever sent or received, and of course, the quick and easy cleanup that Inbox by Gmail offers. For those who aren't familiar, Inbox offers a fantastic way to clean a lot of your emails by automatically grouping your emails into categories. If you're an Inbox user on your iPhone, you need to get this for your Mac ASAP. It's light, very fast, and a much easier way to access your inbox. Finally, our last app will keep with that theme, and it's a simple way to access another Google service without using your web browser, but this time it involves YouTube. Desk App for YouTube is a very simple app that gives you a full YouTube experience without having to open up your browser. You can sign into your Google account or your own YouTube channel, upload videos, access subscriptions, etc., all without having your web browser open. The app allows for multiple windows or tabs, easy access to YouTube from the menu bar icon, a hide window button when listening to music via YouTube, and many other awesome features. It's simple, but very useful. So this wraps up our five essential apps for your Mac. If there are apps that we missed or apps that you want us to know about and maybe feature in a future video, please let us know in the comment section down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.